Red Bull have won 16 of the 17 races so far this year, and many see them as favourites to win the remaining 5 races as well, which would set a new standard of one team dominating F1. Some feel that this isn't good for the sport and that the FIA should intervene. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, FIA will not punish Red Bull and Max Verstappen. FIA President Mohammed Ben Salem, as quoted by Autosport, started off by pointing out how this isn't something new in F1. Domination has happened so many times. Just look at Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher. He then expressed the FIA's inability to level the playing field in a fair manner. How to stop it? It's a bit harsh and not right to go and punish success. I'm open for suggestions if you think that there is a way to be fair and to be democratic, and not just to punish Max and his team or any other team. We're all ears, really. He signed off by reiterating his views. But I'm stuck like you. There's no way that the FIA will punish success. Fast feed. The FIA has increased the maximum fine they can impose on competitors of F1 from €250,000 to €1 million. Euros. In response, Mercedes driver George Russell stated it's pretty ridiculous that a driver could be fined €1 million. Euro. In my first year of Formula 1, I was on a five-figure salary and actually lost over six figures paying for my trainer, flights and assistant. And that's probably the case for 25% of the grid. Teammate Lewis Hamilton, who was fined €50,000 for crossing the track in Qatar, doesn't think he was singled out. I think ultimately it was just poor communication. I don't think what they had said is exactly what they meant. This was in response to the FIA's concerns about the impression his actions may have created on younger drivers. For Alpha Tauri's Daniel Ricciardo, it was definitely frustrating watching the past few races especially as I'd gotten myself to a place where I was ready to go again and race. McLaren's Lando Norris is not so confident about the US Grand Prix, just a lot more slow speed corners, which is not our strength. Red Bull Sergio Perez is just laughing at his retirement rumours. It really sums up my season. A guy says something about me and then all of a sudden it becomes true. Are eras of domination in F1 a harsh reality that fans have to accept or are there fair ways to solve the issue? If so, what? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula One.